Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 21st of July. The local media headlines today. Now we don't hear as much as we used to about Cornwall's spaceport these days. I suppose it won't be that long before we've forgotten about it completely. But the fact that more than a thousand people could have been incinerated on the evening of the 9th of January continues to pose the same old questions. Who knew what and when did they know it? Freedom of information questions are now producing some of the answers. Transport Secretary Mark Harper now says Cornwall Council didn't tell him it was planning to turn the launch into a tourist attraction, organising a celebratory party just 400 yards from a highly explosive rocket. St Clear Parish Council is probably getting more attention than it's used to, but not for the reasons that anybody's particularly proud of. The live streaming of its meetings has produced a soap opera that some feel should come with a viewer's warning. Meanwhile at County Hall, the Conservatives have kept control of the Standards Committee, which is there to set an example of good behaviour. But if you really want to get into hot water, literally, all you have to do is pop down to the beach for a paddle. The sea surface temperature in the North Atlantic is now so warm that scientists have had to recalibrate their measuring charts. The Cornish Times was among the media to note that Cornwall Council has no plans to close any of its beaches, despite the rising tide of raw sewage discharged by southwest water. The council said it would act only if there was an extreme health emergency. Pirate FM had an update on those plans to bring back police station inquiry desks in Cornwall. It looks like Lou might be the next to reopen following the successful reintroduction in several other towns in recent years. The Falmouth Packet reported plans to turn a Truro nightclub into flats. And finally, Cornwall Live noted an auction of vintage motorbikes. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.